Hey guys, this is Galactic, and in this part of the tutorial, we're pretty much just going to add some background music and make it so that your main character can actually get damaged. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, go into the damage aspect of the tutorial uh, because it's kind of difficult and I just want to get that out of the way. Uh, the first part of it is going to your main character object. Uh, this should be object number one or main character, whatever you named it. And uncheck the solid box. Uh, it's very important, but still make sure it's visible, of course. Then add another event, collision with object number two or your enemy, whichever, whatever you named it. And uh, go into score, lives, negative one, and then relative. And uh, pretty much what this does is when you collide into your enemy, uh, you uh, lose one life. And uh, what the solid thing does is, if it's checked, then it makes your actual character like a solid block, so it wouldn't actually collide with object number two. So that's why you had to uncheck it. Uh, but we're also, but what we're also going to do is, um, we're going to make it so that your main character goes back to the starting position uh, once uh, he gets hit by the main, uh, by the enemy. So what you're going to do is drag a. Um, uh, jump the start uh, event right over into your collision event and you're going to make one for yourself as, I, as you've seen me just do right there and then one for object object number two this basically makes it so that all of the ob all object number twos go back to their position and you go back to your position uh, once you lose a life just so that you can't lose like 90 lives in a row and it just makes the game really bad um, then click OK. Uh, after that, you're going to want to add a couple other things into object number one. Uh, one of them would be the end the game um, factor. Uh, pretty much what this does is uh, once you lose all your lives, uh, you actually the game actually ends and you just don't go on forever, uh, randomly wandering in the game. So click other. Um, no more lives. And uh, click. Uh, I believe it's in main too. Yeah, and then drag and end the game event right over here. Also, you're going to want to add another event, other, and then outside of the room, and then you want to make it so that you lose a life over here as well. So why don't we do that? And uh, you also want to make it so that you and your enemies jump back to the main position. So you're going to want to drag that jump to start right back over here. And this just makes it so that uh, you and your enemies, uh, well, no, you, when you get out of bounds, uh, you don't just wander in the wander out of the actual game. You actually lose a life and go back to your starting position. Uh, just to make the game a bit more difficult and more realistic so you can actually die. Uh, then you're going to click OK after that. And we're going to see how it works. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just going to run into these enemies right over here. And I actually do go back to the starting position. And I, when I lost my lives, the game did end. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, uh, we're going to add the sound. Uh, so to do that, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is click this sound button. Uh, you can load whatever sound you want. I'm going to go into my music right over here. Yeah, I have all downloaded stuff. Um, I think I'm just going to download a copyright free song. It's like dubstep and kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, then click OK. If you have a uh, sound editing program, you could probably edit the sound. I don't, but uh, I think Audacity might work for that. So if you're on a Windows computer, you could do that. Uh, then go into score, uh, game start. And I believe uh, it's somewhere over here, be under main. Yes, uh, sounds. Drag that over here. Uh, sound number zero, and then true. This just makes it so that when your game actually starts playing, um, uh, sound uh, or background music will play. So I'll give you an example. It might take a bit to load. Yeah, sorry, it was a bit loud, but um. Does work. And as you see, I can shoot and stuff. 
pretty cool. But, um, you know, while we still have the time left, I'm just going to uh, do something pretty cool for you guys. And that is uh, when uh, your enemies die, which it should be right over here. Um, yeah, when it collides with your enemy, uh, it's going to destroy your... Actually, no. We don't want to destroy your enemy. Uh, if you want, like, infinite enemies just continuously come at you, and you want them to kind of, like, spawn, you're just going to drag a jump to start event. And it will pretty much work uh, the same way, except you'll just have enemies continuously flowing at you. And it's pretty cool. See, look. They just keep on coming. <laughs> it's actually, it's... Oh. Oh god, I'm out of lies. Yeah. yeah. It works pretty well. Um, that's pretty much the most part of the tutorial, guys. Um, we're... Definitely going to fix some of the bugs later on in the next tutorial and uh, probably work on how to make the game a platformer or some sort of uh, different genre. Uh, this is definitely not the end of the series by far. I'm planning on going into a couple of other uh, different game designs as well. Uh, but if you like this video, uh, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.